Hello everybody, this is Straight Gamer back to conclude the final round for Group E. And yeah, what's interesting is that Group B and Group E are very interlinked. Finishing fourth will give you a match against Ultima Dino King. And finishing third will give you a match against Drogon. Well, not really an easier match, isn't it? It's like trying to pick the best out of a bad bunch. Right, at first we got a absolute massive game between Iron Dan and Team Europe. Well, this has huge ramifications, not just for Iron Dan and Team Europe, but for U and Dino Hunter as well. Right, for Iron Dan, in the red corner, we have got a Stegosaurus. So yeah, a win will be enough for either of these guys to get into fourth. But they'll still be below Dino Hunter, because Dino Hunter has the head-to-head -head advantage on both Iron Dan and Team Europe. A bonus point win for either of these two will put them above Dino Hunter in the table. And then, should U win their match against Master Ishian, then Dino Hunter will be going home. But, as long as I, as long as neither of these guys get bonus point wins, Dino Hunter will go through to the last 32. But this isn't about Dino Hunter, this is about these two. For Team Europe in the blue corner, we got Megalosaurus, and let's have a look at what field we're on. Oh, the dirt plane, so no terrain advantages here. So yeah, level playing field. Both want to swap when HP's in the red, so yeah, I can toss my notes. I don't need them. Backing up the Megs, we got the Iguanodon. Now here's where things could be tricky for Iron Dan. If the Iguanodon faces up against the Steg, it's going to have the type advantage. So yeah, big problem, big problem. Ooh, the tie, yeah, this is going to be a very nervy match for both these guys. Oh, tie recovery there. Oh, just the start, I had done once. It's a crit. The saving grace for the Megs is that it did get a secret move triggered, so it won't do as much damage as it normally would, but it's still going to do damage. Oh, that's a big start from Iron Dan. Oh, hello, we got a shockwave. Oh, I believe Seagull flew past. <laughs> yeah, we don't usually get Seagulls here. Sometimes we do. Like, I remember, like, months ago, we got, like, hundreds of the buggers here. I don't know what they were doing. Oh, don't do this now, random number generator. Okay, there we go, it's a one. And that means Iron Dan will get the next hit. <laughs> It was trying to be a bit too dramatic then, but you know, if you know, I, I, is it, oh wow, that was a pathetic amount of damage. Right, time for the Megs to swap out. Oh, and he gets the swap and a big crit to come. Team Europe coming back into this with a gigantic fall, and is Iron Dan, and is Iron Dan about to suffer from a gigantic fall? Ooh, that's a hit from the Iggy. The fence burst is going to activate as well. Think Iron Dan is going to need the Awaker mode here. That swap would be absolutely crucial for him here. Oh, he gets the swap. Iron Dan, like Team Europe, getting the swap. Oh, an Earth Barrier, which could come in handy, because remember, the Stegosaurus will heal up. And it'll probably heal up en enough to survive a hit with the Earth Barrier. I feel like the Awaken Mode's gonna decide who wins this match. Ooh, or will it? A crit from the Spino. Can I and Dan turn the screw? Emerald Garden, though, being triggered. Ooh, hello, another Earth Barrier. This time, a support effect. That's twice. But I think Emerald Garden will eat through the Earth Barrier, so, yeah. 
Oh, but he doesn't get it. Big momentum swing in Iron Dan's favour. Oh, the, the Meg's gonna get hit. The Quanadon's going down. Well, this would be massive for Iron Dan if he can see this out for the bonus point win. All right, that's three times. I'll wait the mode on four, by the way. So it'll be wait, wait time next for the Spino. Oh, it's a tie. But it's all in Iron Dan's hands now. And there's the win. There's the bonus point. Massive result. Doesn't even need the Awaken mode. What am I on about? And that is a massive result for Iron Dan. And that actually puts Dino Hunter in trouble. Because that will put Iron Dan above Dino Hunter in the table. Right, we'll have a look at the table before moving on to our next match. Well, Iron Dan has done everything they can. It's all up to the other matches now. As for Team Europe, they will be, they're already out of this tournament. Right, our next matchup, a crucial one now, even more so given the first result between Dino Hunter and our host, Stranger Game. Well, not much at stake here for our hosts because they've already qualified and, well, if they're gonna lose a bonus point, they're gonna top this group and, well, that, is a horrible field for Dino Hunter. Absolutely horrible. Because this Spino's gonna have terrain advantage. And the Mega Raptor's gonna start with a crit. Oh, that's a torrid field for Dino Hunter. Backing up the Spino, we got Atrox. Oh, does that put the match in the favor of our host? I think it does. I think it does. Well, yeah. Right, in the blue corner, for our gracious host, we have the Mega Raptor. Our host's making it 4 out of 4 so far, looking to make it 5 out of 5. Although, which might be a bad omen, because no one has ever won a tournament by winning every match. Except for the very first one, but that was only because it was like a knockout tournament. But even then, the guy that won had like two teams, and one of his other teams lost, so yeah. No one has ever won a tournament by winning every match, so yeah. Bad omen if I win this, isn't it? <laughs> right, backing up the legs, we've got the blitz type Talmasaurus. Okay, well yeah, terrain advantage plays out first, because the Megaraptor does have quick strike, so... Terrain advantages play out first, so Megaraptor will start with paper and get the crit. Then, the Megaraptor will go for the quick strike. Interesting, isn't it? Right, Dino Hunter wants to swap when HP's in the red. Me, when HP's below half. Oh, big damage coming Dino Hunter's way. Boosh! Boosh, boosh! Bah! Neck crusher! Oh, look at the damage! Well, time to swap up the Spino. Oh, he gets the time. What a start from the hosts. Another tie. Wow, terrain at disadvantage. Really punishing there for Dino Hunter. But they do get the hit and they do get the swap out. So, Spino will come back in. And it's a six. A crucial hit that could be from Dino Hunter. The Dino Illusion getting tricked. Wait, hang on a minute. How much damage did that do? What the hell? Loads of damage. Ooh, there's a tie. Can Dino Hunter kill the Mega Raptor? Oh, I think he's going to. Oh, the Dino Illusion's wasted. The Tarmosaurus comes in. And it is Blitz type, so it will start with a scissors. Oh, but he gets the crit. Are oh, the hosts on the brink of their first defeat of the tournament? Oh, 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 the Thomas always gets the next hit. Boosh. Big hit there. And remember, when if the Spino comes back in, the Tarbosaurus will get a hit because of the terrain disadvantage. 
but can Dino Hunter avoid that? Oh, they can! Our host is going to taste defeat for the first time in this tournament. And what a win for Dino Hunter. Wow. And the unfamiliar feeling of defeat for Stranger Gamer. But as for Dino Hunter, a massive bonus point win, which puts them through to the last 32 round and guarantees a showdown against Drogon. Now that will be a tasty match. And if Dino Hunter can win like that, I think Drogon will be packing his bags up and leaving the tournament. Ooh, that, that was crazy. That was absolute insanity. Right, let's have a look at how our table looks after that. Well, a massive result for Dino Hunter there, guaranteeing that third place finish. As for our hosts, well, licking the wounds after that. But what it does do is open the door for Maastrician. If Maastrician can get a bonus point win against Ur, they will top this group. So yeah, you know, it's still a lot to play for. And well, Ur has to be a bonus point winner. Don't have the head-to-head -head against Iron Dan. So Iron Dan did beat Ur in round two. So yeah, anything other than a bonus point win will knock Ur out of this tournament. Ooh, interesting. The Colosseum. Which is good news if you're Maastrician because your Raptor will have the terrain advantage. But at first in the boot red corner for Maastrician, we've got Bronco Kings. Maastrician has been a very impressive combatant in this tournament so far, but let's be honest. When you have Brontekins and Eoraptor in, in your tag team, you're going to do well. In fact, I'm surprised that there's, o there's only a few Brontekins. I think there's only like two. And then there's like two Eoraptors, which is a surprise. Ooh, interesting. So we got the Sorrow Baganax for the Eoraptor, which means... A, we're going to see some heat eruptions, and B, we're probably going to see some volcano bursts. With a bit of burning dash from a pear tree. Oh, you don't need them. For Ur, in the blue corner, we have got Armatus. Wow, we all saw the damage Armatus did in round four. <laughs> Dino Hunter still suffering from PTSD after that match. But yeah, there's going to need Armatus to do it again. Right, backing up the Armatus, as you can see, we got Super Duper Spiny. Super Spiny, I wasn't too much of this guy, to be honest. It's mainly been Armatus doing all the work. But it's probably going to have to pull its weight in this match. Awake the mode on three, I might add. Right, let's see how this match plays out. So yeah, as I said, anything other than a bonus point win will knock her out of the tournament. Oh, and that's not a good start. That's not a good start. Tech boost coming in. Tutu dive coming in. A probable volcano boost coming in. Boosh. Oh, that's a good start from Master Shinobro. Oh, no volcano burst. Okay. Uh, catching a break there. And let's be honest, they kind of need it. Oh, that's a tie. But we see some sand traps. Remember, Brontekin swaps out when HP's in the yellow. Oh, but the only one who's HP's in the yellow is Armatus's. And well, this will put his HP in the red, which means it'll be Armatus's time to swap out. Will it get it, though? Here comes the Volcano Burst. I don't think it'll be lethal, but... Oh, it's so close. Well, Ur has to get this next hit to stay alive in this tournament. Oh, they get the next hit. A massive hit there from Ur to get the swap out. Get out of there. Get the elemental power as well and an Earth Barrier, which could be useful because Armatus will heal up while the Spiny comes in. And it'll heal up enough to survive a hit from... to survive a hit. Because of the Earth Barrier, so yeah, good swap there from Earth. Ooh, that's a tie. That bar's getting full though, the bar's filling up. Oh, 
we're gonna see spectral armor. Ooh, not yet. Not yet. But we're probably going to. Ooh, a tie bomb. And it'll be brought actually Brodkins will be attempting to swap out. Ooh, hello, we got an earth barrier. Now that could be crucial. Right, that's twice. Because if Brodkins gets off a spectral destroy on Spiny, Spiny will survive. Because of the earth barrier. Oh, he stopped the swap! Er turning the screw in this match. They'll have the Awaken mode, but it might be a problem if Brompkins dies. Because the Eora... Oh, the Awaken mode's going to be wasted. Oh, you hate to see it. But terrain advantage is terrain advantage. Unfortunately for Er, even though they get the Awaken mode, Eora is going to get the next hit because of the terrain advantage. And that is so unfortunate. And yeah... That is really unfortunate. A tie. Oh, it's heat eruption. That's going to be game. Oh, heat eruption. That's game. That's going to be game over. Oh, that's, that is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. That is. Yeah, that is brutal. Wow, that, that, that is utterly, utterly brutal. Like, you get in, the awaken mode, and then Eoraptor has to get the hit because of the terrain advantage. Ugh, that, that is really, really cruel. But unfortunately, that is just how terrain advantage works in this tournament. Yeah, that's something I will most likely change for the future. But yeah, as for the present, it is Ur bowing out to the tournament. But can they finish on a high? Oh, I don't even think they're going to get a finish on a high either. The burning dash is going to kill the freaking Armatus. Oh, wait. No, it won't. It's got Earth Barrier. All right. Armatus is still alive. <laughs> and kicking. One thing is for certain is that Mass is that our host Stranger Gamer will win the group. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. So Stranger Gamer will win this group. Master Shun will get second place. Oh, hello, is a crit. And the poison. And an earth barrier. Uh, not defeated yet, but obviously a tie and there'll be heat eruption, it'll be game over. Oh, oh there it is. Here comes the heat eruption. I mean, who's gonna get a losing bonus point, but it doesn't really matter. It's game over. Yeah, that, that was absolutely brutal. Well, that is it. Master Shun getting four wins on the spin. Getting lucky this time, though, I will say that, but uh, bowing out of the tournament. Right, let's have a look at how Group E finish. Well, that is how Group E finishes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and yeah. We have our host Stranger Gamer, now, well, only just topping the group by virtue of the fact that they beat Maastrician in the first match. And we have Maastrician also on 14 points. Both of these two enjoying fine tournaments so far. Then we have Dino Hunter in third place. Three wins, two defeats. Enjoy also enjoying a good tournament. Looking really good. Iron Dan clinging on to fourth place here with seven points. Although it will be a Big ask going up against Ultima Dino King in the last 32. Oh, we'll have a look at the uh, last 32 brackets as well, don't worry. And then poor old Ur uh, and Team Europe out of the tournament. And yeah, this tournament can be brutal. It, it, it really can be brutal. But yeah, you know, for a, for a debut hunt, they, you know, uh, at least you got at least you got a win in the tournament. And it was a notable win, a good win against Dino Hunter. But right, let's have a look at where these guys are, will be in the last 32 round. So yeah, we have Maastrician up here going up against whoever finishes third in Group F, which we will find out in the next session. Then, well, it's going to be a big ask for Iron Dan going up against Ultima Dino King, a rematch from the last tournament. And I think Ultimate won comfortably in that match, so yeah. 
sure the Dino King will fancy their chances. Then, down here, we have our host Stranger Gamer, licking their wounds after tasting defeat for the first time in this tournament, going up against Carnotaurus Man. And it's going to be an interesting match. I think it's going to come down to Mega Raptor versus Carnotaurus. But then, the Sukumimus will have the type advantage over Tarbosaurus. So, you know, and after, after that defeat, you know, there, there is vulnerability. So, Carnotaurus Man, on a good run, might fancy themselves. It's still, it's still going to be tough. You know, you would probably still say that our hosts will be the fav will be the favourites in this match, but Carnotaurus man, capable of springing a surprise. And then we have where's the other? Oh yeah, Dino Hunter going up against Drunken Targaryen the Third. Yeah, this is going to be a really intriguing match. Spinosaurus versus Spinosaurus. Aloatrox going up against Super Eocar. On paper, you probably say Drogon does have the upper hand and will fancy himself, but Dino Hunter. How much momentum do, does that win against the hosts give them going into the last 32 round? They got a good chance of getting to the semis. They got a favourable bracket down here. And yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for this session. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Thanks for watching, and until next time, ta-ta!